What's up? How are you guys today? I'm gonna show you my current supplement routine. What I've been taking for the past six months to a year now for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, everything that goes along with the regular day of eating meals. And the main reason you have to supplement is just because the modern diet and lifestyle has so many negatives and stressors that we used to not have to deal with following more natural diets, you know, without the EMF, without the mineral soil depletion, a lot more physical activity, you know, particularly like depletion of certain minerals and B vitamins. Uh, so let's get started with breakfast. So I just started having breakfast more recently just to have the physical energy throughout the day uh, when doing all of the manual labor. Uh, but today I'm not having breakfast. So I'm just gonna have magnesium and vitamin C as well as some masticum. So I'm doing two capsules of magnesium glycinate, which is 100 milligrams per capsule, 200 milligrams total. And we're doing one capsule of the vitamin C, which is 500 milligrams. And then we're gonna do about uh, half a teaspoon of the masticum. And the main reason I don't like having breakfast sometimes is just because I want to hydrate really, really well. So I'm gonna try to drink like a full bottle of mineral water. So I just take the masticum with the pills So that's kind of the minimum of what I take in the morning. On occasion, I'll take either the B-complex, maybe once or twice a month, and then a few times a week, I'll take uh, B1 plus B9 in the morning, depending on how I'm feeling. And if I'm having breakfast, I'll definitely do vitamin B1. Sometimes I'll do vitamin B9, and on occasion, I will do uh, like a mineral protocol with breakfast as the first meal. But I try not to take more than like two or three supplements at once just so my liver can process it you know without too much added stress so just keep that in mind you know why these routines are only focusing on a few minerals at a time so uh, the next meal is going to be lunch where we will probably do some minerals so i just got back from work it's about 4 30 p.m and the magnesium and vitamin c definitely gave me some energy and mental clarity that i've been lacking these past few days because i kind of skipped taking it uh, so we have our meal here, pretty typical of what we've been doing lately. Lean red meat, this is the bavette steak from Frankie's Syringe Meat. Organic sourdough bread, homemade white bean puree, some apples, water key for water key for grains. But since we are showing supplements today, I take two vitamin B1 capsules with every single meal regardless for the most part. Even if I like want to take a nap or go to sleep, I notice with the conventional higher dose B1 supplements that I like can't sleep. So I'm not too worried about taking this. Uh, I've been doing the zinc a few times this week, so we're not gonna do that today because we definitely have plenty. I've been doing a lot of iodine nasal flushes and you really need selenium to kind of counterbalance the iodine. So I definitely wanna try to take uh, some selenium today. So we're gonna do one selenium capsule, two vitamin B1 capsules, and I do want to do uh, the other minerals today. So we have manganese, I'm gonna do one capsule. We're also going to do the molybdenum, one capsule, and then one capsule of the boron. Now, if I remember my hair mineral analysis correctly, I think the manganese and the boron were lower than the molybdenum. So uh, next time I do this, I might skip the molybdenum capsule. Uh, but that's really going to be it. Um, yeah. Some days I might take the B9. Some days I might take the B complex. But... Uh, the next focus is going to kind of be to try to get some K2 in there, see how I respond, as well as some of the other B vitamins, but I haven't had time to experiment as much lately. So just a quick recap of what we're having supplement-wise for lunch. Two B1 capsules, one selenium capsule, one molybdenum, one manganese, one boron, and uh, of course we're going to do the masticum and some water kefir grains. And... We'll see you guys for dinner, I guess, but we're probably just gonna do some vitamin B1. All right, guys, we are back for dinner. I got my big bowl of udon noodles with roast beef from Frankie's Syringe Meat. A little bit of collagen broth in here as well. Apple for dessert, of course. And supplement-wise, we're gonna do some of the macronutrient enzymes which help break down the food, so I'm gonna sleep better. Of course, we got the water key for water key for grains. Uh, we're gonna do some of the vitamin B1 as well. And then, as with every meal, we're going to have some masticum, 
Might take some charcoal in an hour or two, might not. Um, usually I'll just take some more mastic gum. Uh, the charcoal I usually reserve for like cheat meals or if I go out to a restaurant. Um, but sometimes I do take this like an hour or two after dinner uh, just to help absorb some more of the toxins in the bile from the liver. But uh, yeah, nothing crazy guys. I think we're gonna do three capsules of the, the macronutrient enzymes, which are just a whole lot more convenient to take than the powder. This has amylase to break down the starch, pepsin, trypsin, chymotrypsin to break down the protein, betaine HDL for some stomach acidity, and some lipase for the small amount of fat. So um, I don't usually take this during the day because I'm pretty active, I'm moving around, but uh, if I'm gonna have like a big meal like this before I go to bed, definitely necessary. And especially with the, the white refined carbohydrates, you do wanna be taking vitamin B1 with almost every meal. Uh, it's one of the most significant differences I've noticed while taking a supplement. And I didn't show you guys last meal, but I'll usually have everything towards the middle of the meal, then the masticum right before dessert. And I'll just add that it really does make a huge difference when the water kefir is properly made. I do feel a lot better. And each of these components, you know, the high quality organic food, the masticum, the supplements, you will notice them accumulate to you eventually feeling really good and feeling better. Uh, you know, this health, diet, lifestyle stuff takes a while to figure out, you know, especially with the degree of liver damage I've had, but I'm definitely getting a lot better and uh, on track. So I want to sit down and enjoy my dinner, guys, but I will see you for the next day of eating. You can go to frank if you'd like to check out any of my interesting products, including organ supplements, which is most of the stuff we've showed today. Always wearing my Wi-Fi shielding clothing. Probably sold out of the water kefir on frankiestrangefoods.com. And of course, we have the high quality grass fed roast beef on frankiestrangemeat.com. Thanks again for joining, guys. We'll see you for the next video. I swear to God, guys, my brain is completely fried. I've been working every day for like the past seven years of my life, and it's catching up to me. If you guys have any questions about any of these minerals, anything we're taking today, I've done videos on basically everything molybdenum, manganese, selenium, very, very, very in depth. You know, signs of deficiency how much you should take, what taking it does. So just search, you know, Frank Tefano, whatever mineral or vitamin you want to learn about.